Welcome back guys. Um, I want to do a little tutorial video on uh, the barrel lengths of your gun. So obviously you're, you'll change these, you'll have a look at your gun, you'll see the accuracy and you'll go, oh my god, 20% barrel length gives you, I think it's 33% extra accuracy over zero and minus barrel length takes a, a stupid amount off you so your first thought will be 20% barrel length is the key every time and that's what I've done ever since they brought this out is I always do 20% barrel length no matter what and uh, it was pretty strange that they even give you the option it's like why why would they give you an option to have worse accuracy? It makes no sense. So I've been doing a load of playtesting and I've figured out figured out what's going on basically. So um, if we have a look, we're at minus seven. If we have a look on the right hand side, um, at five kilometer range, we've got a seven point three inch pen on the deck and we've got a 15 in 15% uh, accuracy so it's 7.3 and 15% now if we put this up to 20 25 kilometers is where you get 7.3 inch deck pen and it's only 1.5%, which is a tenth of the accuracy. Obviously, it's a completely different range. It's 5 kilometers and 25 kilometers. But the point is, is the chances of getting deck hits and deck pens with these new barrel lengths is incredibly slim. So, if you want to um, get ammo detonations and such then the best way to do it is by hitting the the deck not the belt the belt is uh, nearly always the most armored part of a ship and the deck costs about twice as much weight we can actually have a look so that cost 43 I'll leave that as it is and this one costs uh, 39 so it's not actually that much it's only a tiny bit more I think they must have changed that um, but the most uh, people and the AI don't armor the deck up anywhere near as much as the armor the belt up and so that is the the weakest part of a ship and so the easiest place to get an ammo detonation. You only really need one or two ammo dets and you've uh, almost annihilated a ship. Where you can shoot a ship in the belt a hundred times and uh, not get the same effect as you would have from getting a couple of uh, deck penetrations. So I've designed a ship with hardly any um, deck armor and I just tried to fight it and I didn't get a single deck pen um, in a well I don't know how many shots I think well half an hour maybe an hour of gameplay and I didn't get a single deck pen and he only had one inch deck armor so now what we're gonna do is reduce these to minus 20 I've done the same thing on the enemy ship. So um, in the entire battle before, we both had plus 20. The battle went for like an hour or so of game time. Um, this ship won because it was designed with long barrels in range, an armor scheme with long barrels in range. Um, and neither of us got a single deck penetration. So. We're going to do a, a quick test now 
with both of us having minus 20 barrel range. This ship having, the enemy ship having one inch armor, and I've got um, six inches of main deck and only three inches of uh, aft and fore belt, which is the normal amount that I would put on a ship before they brought out this uh, barrel change. They were the numbers that I would normally go for. So let's have a look, see how long it takes until we get ammo pen, uh, deck pens, considering it took an hour, an entire game's worth, without a single deck pen and the ships, the, the enemy ship getting some. So I'm the one with one inch armour. They're the one with the standard six and three. So it, it hit the casemate actually at that time, so we won't count that one. I think it was a deck shot. That hit the main gun, so that was probably a deck shot as well. But if you can see, the, the shells are going really high and dropping really low, uh, like at a really steep angle. Which is why it increases your chance to hit the deck considerably. If we have a look, there's a 45% chance to hit the deck. Where before, I was playing at 17 kilometers and I only had about a 10% chance. Maybe 15. So we've got a 4 deck partial there. So we need to get to around about 5 kilometer range. So we've had a main tower penetration there. There we go, four deck ammo detonation. I'll just quickly pause it. So he's hit me with an 8.9 incher at 7.3 kilometer range. So max range pretty much. And he's, uh, he's got an ammo debt against me um, because he's got 4.1 inch um, deck piercing. And that's just with an 8 inch gun. So we can see here 4 deck, main deck, 4 deck. We've got a partial there, uh, partial partial. So all mine are just partial at the moment because he's got three inches of uh, armour and I've got one inch. So uh, main deck penetration. So basically that's what the difference is between um, short barrel length and long barrel length. It's all about whether you want to aim for the enemy's deck or whether you want to aim for the belt. But if you aim for the deck, you'll get so many more ammo pens. The ammo decks. So. so even at this range, we've still got a 19% chance of hitting the deck, which is crazy. Just every single deck hit is a is a pen. Where with 20% barrel length, you won't get a single pen on the deck. You'll barely even hit the deck. But even when you do, it won't be a pen. So the thing that you're looking at on here is the muzzle velocity. So um, the lower the muzzle velocity is. Uh, the more chance you've got of hitting the uh, hitting and penning the uh, the deck. So we'll repeat the test. This time we'll do 20 inch. Sorry, 20 percent.
So we want to try and hit the deck and see if we get any pens. So we're going to have to stay at super max range. Basically on the edge of the spotting distance. And so let's say 15 kilometers. We've got 3.1 inch pen at 15 kilometers. They've got 3 inches of armor plus 147 or 142. So they've got um, 7 seven inches of armor. So to be able to pen 7 inches of what well, I can't. I can't pen 7 inches of armor with this gun. Um, but because I've only got 1 inch of uh, deck armor, they will be able to, to pen my deck. Well, not with this gun. You would expect it to. I've only got one inch, and uh, I've got plus 117, so I've got 2.2 um, inches of armor, and they've hit the main deck, partial pen. So let's keep an eye out and see how many times. Main deck, main deck, partial, partial. Main deck with a 4.9 inch partial. main deck partial it's just every single time you hit the, the deck it's a partial even when you're hitting it with like a 14.9 inch gun it's still just a, a partial pen so I'll pause that a second so we got an ammo deck but this time it was against the main belt so um, you obviously do get uh, detonation ammo depth against the belt so you don't have to uh, attack the um, the deck to get an ammo debt but it's just easier to get an ammo debt because they've got less armor on on the deck so every single one obviously we're uh, we're crippled now but we'll carry on the test we'll see if we get any um, deck penetration shots main deck partial every single one is a partial we'll have a look to see if we get a 14.9 inch hit on the deck look 14.9 inch main deck partial so let's pause it He's at 10.6. Unfortunately, I haven't identified him yet. But well, let's have a look once it um, identifies what the uh, the depth pen is at 10.6. Considering I've only got 2.2 inches with the armor quality included. So it's 2.6. It's it's really low. 2.6 inches. But I still didn't get a pen, even though mine's only 2.2. So, yeah, that is the difference between a short barrel gun and a long barrel gun. Is uh, your chances to hit and your chances to pen the, uh, the main deck. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.